My turn. Yeah. It's down. It's mine. I got this. Yeah. It's my turn. I got this. Yeah. My turn. Yeah. Do it. There. I'm going. Slow. <laughs> right on. <laughs> Good work. Be careful, that enemy's strong. We made it to the rooftop. We're close. There's some sort of mechanism there. Let's take a look. The wind is with us. Yeah. Now! Crush them! Understood! Gotcha. Understood! Yeah. Huh. Huh. 
A glorious victory. <laughs> A matter of course. Let's go! Sit. It's down! An opening! It's my turn! Let's go! Roaring winds? Sweep them away! Now! This one's mine! Yeah! Hecka! Why, you? It's my turn! My turn. It's down. An opening. I'll handle this. No pity. Yeah. I'm up. It's down. An opening. This is it. Why you? That was quite the display, Principal Le Guin. You're rather impressive yourself. <laughs> Whoopee! Yeah! <laughs> the wind is with us. The wind is with us. My blade, calm as still water. Now! <laughs> ha! Seven! 
Diamond Slash, Fallen Leaves! This is the Blade of the Eight Leaves. Strong, be careful. Let's go. Let's go. Roaring winds, sweep them away. It's my turn. Move on. Tough one.
It's powerful. We must take care. That enemy is strong. Please be careful. This is nothing. What a nuisance. My blade, calm as still water. Now! <gasps> It's my turn. Brace yourself. Yeah. Huh? Blinding light, gather in my blade. Iolus Saber. I will fulfill my duty as a noble. Kind of a tight fit in here.
This room is... It's the fortress's control room. My former home office, if you will. Looks like a toughie. Stay on your toes. My name is Aurelia Le Guin. I am the former commander of the Noble Alliance. I am the one who made a deal with the government. I am the one who destroyed your country. I accept all of your remorse, your shame, and your hatred. Take the head of the Golden Rakshasa. If you can. <laughs> We don't need you to tell us that! Principal! Yeah. Don't get in the way! Fall! In the name of North Ambria! That's a strong one! Let's kick its ass! It's my turn. Ha! It's my turn. Orcas, activate! <laughs> well done. Leave it to me. Roaring winds? Sweep them away! <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Let's go.
my blade, calm as still water. Now! <gasps> Seventh slash, fallen leaves. Why ah! oh, you? This is the blade of the eight leaves. Oh, I can get even stronger. This is the might of the Golden Rakshasa, the Purple Lightning, and the Ashen Chevalier. All right. Good. We were able to suppress them. Kill us! Huh? What are you? This is a battlefield. You've won. There isn't a need to show mercy. <gasps> Don't misunderstand, Nameless Jaegers. This is not your place to die. All I wished to do was honor your pride as the target of your unsated vengeance. There is no point in spilling any more blood. Principal Le Guin. <laughs> You deprived us of our home, and now you deprive us of our final resting place. Then we shall... Uh! No! Valestine? Don't be so stupid! You... you... We haven't been risking our lives for pride all this time, have we? It was to save our homeland from poverty. To fill empty stomachs. To make children smile when we had next to nothing! That's why we chose to live our days drenched in blood and smoke! <gasps> But now you've lost your way. Why have you thrown that resolve aside? If you're willing to abandon everything you stood for, then the Colonel... Daddy won't be able to rest in peace. <laughs> Instructor. Our meeting was meant to be. Sarah, daughter of Colonel Valestine. We thank Adios that you were here. <laughs> I'm your instructor. You guys shouldn't be seeing me like this. It's a bit late for that. I understand how one can love their home so sincerely. Yeah, but dying in vain is just so sad. You did great, Instructor. I'm glad all of you are here. Really. Thank you so much, General. Thank you for giving them what they needed. Not at all. I only did what was required of me. Now the clock is ticking. Let's keep going. Okay. Eight 
this. <laughs> you guys are so much fun. But I'm gonna turn up the heat. Try to keep up. Randolph, your cousin's a monster. Yeah, sorry about her. Let's end this, you psycho freak. Here, try some of this. I don't think so. <laughs> you really are fast. I can see why she's so taken with you. Leave her out of this. Wait. You're behind what's happening in Artaria, aren't you? Well, we wouldn't want them interrupting our big plans for the Empire, would we? Huh. You're better than I expected, Black Whirlwind. Nice to get the fire stoked before I take down the Rakshasa. Hmm? <sighs> so the Blazing Demon finally rears its head. Everyone, step back! Huh. I just hope you don't burn too easily. Yeah. Die. <laughs> Seriously? <sighs> the winds are still with me. He extinguished those flames all on his own? I'm amazed he's able to put up a fight against McBurn when he's all fired up! Now's our chance! Move! You ready, Jessica? Of course. What the? <laughs> You're wide open! Good! On to the next cannon! Yes, yes sir. sir! Wow, they're not half bad. The Major knows what he's doing, but those kids aren't missing a step either. <laughs> Good thing we train him so hard. Oh, is the fun over already? <laughs> Guess the rest is up to everyone at Juno. We'll settle this another time, Black Whirlwind. I'm looking forward to it, especially if you bring your golden rock Shasa with you. All four railway cannons have been reclaimed. Well done, all of you. But sir, the naval fortress. I'm aware. Squads three through eight, return to Juno. Squads one and two, hang back and secure the canyon. Sir. Now our hopes rest entirely on Schwarzer, Gaius, and the students of the new class seven. And of course, General Le Guin.
Let's take five here. What's going on? It's starting to get foggy. <sighs> the seventh anguish of Ouroboros. Arian wrote, the Steel Maiden. She resembles every bit the woman we saw in Lohengrin Castle. Indeed, I presumed the gnomes' conspirators would raise their weapons for battle. That you would appear in their place is a surprise. Perhaps banging down the door is uncouth, but, well... This used to be my place. It's only natural I'd see myself in. I am Aurelia Le Guin. It's a pleasure. I'm glad we were able to meet, Steel Maiden. I've heard your name, Golden Rakshasa. I know you as one who has mastered both the Vander and Arsade styles of swordsmanship. But your reputation does you little justice. I, too, am delighted that you strike me as greater than the legend you left behind. But I need to ask, why the helmet? We're done with our pleasantries. Would you do me the honor of allowing me to see your face? How dare you! The Stall Ritter. We gotta deal with them again. Such a pain. But what else is new, I guess? <laughs> I like that determination of yours. But you will step aside. I am speaking to her. <sighs> Very well. The Rakshasa isn't someone to be taken lightly. You fool! Only the strong may see the face of our illustrious lord. You need to prove your strength before you- It is fine. I don't mind. <laughs> Jeez. She's so pretty. 
the Lance Maiden, Leanne Sandlot. The legends weren't far off. Indeed. She's more beautiful than any legend or painting could replicate. I'm sure the same could be said of her skill with a lance. Yes. I expect much from your Crimson Blade as well. Duvali, Ines, Enea. You may fight with your strength uninhibited. Yes, my lord! We're finally here! Whoa! You made it! The Steel Maiden and the Golden Rakshasa. <laughs> what a wild day. We're about to see a fight unlike any other. <laughs> now, let us both use our full strength. It's my turn! Ha! Thunder <laughs> How's this? I won't let you! My blade, calm as still water. Now! Ah! Ha! Ash and slash, fatal leaves! <laughs> you will face my blade! So you've come this far. Time to get a little serious! Not on lightning! <laughs> I make you feel all tingly. <laughs> <laughs> Not bad. Losing is not an option. For my lord, I've had it! Very well, but this is not yet over. Gaze into the evil eye! To me, mighty sp- <laughs> Will you survive this?
Well done. Foolish. Still not good enough. Not on my watch! Here I go! I'll help! Take that! <laughs> Foolish! I messed up. Yeah. Foolish! I can still fight! Fight! Yeah! Thank you! Yes! I can still fight! Yeah! Let's go! <sighs> Spirit unification! My blade, calm as still water. Now! Ah! Ah! Ash and slash! Fatal leaves! <coughs> Time to get a little serious! <laughs> I let my guard down. It's my turn. How, how dare you! I won't let you! <laughs> Foolish! <laughs> it's my turn. Roaring winds? Sweep them away! Ugh. It's down! This one's mine! Not bad. I impossible! Yes. My turn. Ah! Thunder Bang. <laughs> Impressive. There's no time to waste. Got it! Woohoo! I need to keep getting better. <laughs> A matter of course. <laughs> Whoopee! Huh. 
A battle between those who have reached the heights of skill. <sighs> Still not enough. No! My lord! She was brought to her knees? Uh, th this is impossible! <sighs> what a battle! I wouldn't be shocked if this became one for the history books. To be honest, I am surprised. You are stronger than I was in my previous life. <laughs> the victory is yours. Oh, she beat the Steel Maiden? <laughs> Keep in mind, I'm more experienced now than you were back then. And this must be the pinnacle of my skill. Indeed. The only battlefield that lies beyond this is within the realm of the Great One. What? The Great One. We heard those same words in the Reverie Corridor. Ashen Chevalier, Reen Schwarzer. And your associates as well. Are you prepared? You bet we are! This is it! I'm asking this of all my students! I'm asking this of each and every one of my friends and comrades here with me! All of you, please, fight with me! Yeah! yeah! Heed my call, Valimar the Ashen Knight! We're ready, Tita. One Hector and a Kestrel. I will set the beacon. Acknowledged. First carrier, ignite! Three, two, one, zero. Hector Mark II, Castro Beta, lift off! Hmm, not bad. Good luck, team. Just like I was told. It's even more vivid than it was during the Civil War. <laughs> I guess I'm in on it, too. Let's go, Tilly! Understood. We'll give them all the strength we can. Remember, that thing can manipulate space. We don't know what it's going to do. Just make sure to work as a team, and we'll get through it. Got it. Understood.
It's my turn. Now, bring it on! Yes! Azure wings, shoot! My turn. Now, hate this! That's what you get for being careless. I shall go. It's my turn. Huh. It's down. An opening. It's my turn. This'll get a bit spicy. Fire! My turn. It's down! It's mine! My turn. It's my turn. Sit. I'm up. Yeah. This is Murian Tachi. You stay back. Please leave this to us. It's my turn. As your wings. I got this. Now, eat this! That's what you get for being careless. I'm up! Now, bring it on! Something approaches. Reed, be wary. This'll get a bit spicy. Fire! Now's our chance! Keep it up! It's my turn! Sit. 
I got this. I shall go. Yeah. It's working. Let us push through. Yeah. Yeah. It's mine. Let's go. Yeah. It's my turn. This will get a bit spicy. It's my turn. What the hell? The Arcuses are connecting everyone's strength. Everyone's hearts are with me. Now we can fight back! Let's go! Your wings shoot. Let's go. Huh? Aurora cannon. My turn. Now, hate this. That's what you get for being careless. I'm up! There! Now. <sighs> it's my turn. This'll get a bit spicy. Fire! Let's go! Keep it up! I'm up! Sit! Now! An opening! My turn! <laughs> Done already? Brilliant! Woohoo! <laughs> Good job! Thank goodness. You're amazing, Musée! 
You did great too, Ash. Hmm. <laughs> Not bad. Hmm, yes. Their abilities were quite a sight to behold. <sighs> they were all right, I suppose. The battle is settled. Now, since you've lost, you owe us some answers. What? Perhaps we'll have you start by telling us about these experiments of yours. What is their purpose? And what do you plan to do next? <sighs> True. Those are the questions of the day. For sure. Why'd you go through all the trouble to fix up these old hunks of junk anyway? And what does taking back the Phantasmal Blaze plan even mean? These ions shouldn't even be able to function. The original three can only use those miraculous powers they had as a result of Crossbell's artificial Septarian. But she's just a normal human now. There's no one left who can create such miracles. Though they weren't at full power, what made it possible for not one, but three of them to function like this? Oh. Guys? What on earth? The graduates of Thor's Military Academy's Class 7 have become quite impressive indeed. Until next we meet. Guys! Thank goodness you're all right. Th this is... Fog? It's just like the Graham. To me! Agreon! <gasps> I don't believe it. What is this, my lord? Could that be... It moves just as she does. Each experiment has borne fruit. The time is near. Shall we hearken to the will of the Abyss, or shall we embark on a new route entirely? We must reach a decision before much longer. We leave, Stalridder. Let's go. We'll have time for questions later. The fog is clearing. That was... Do we have any readings on the radar? Agate! Agate, are you okay? <laughs> yeah. Good to see you're hanging in there, too. Come on, no putting on the waterworks. I swear, I'm fine. Sheesh. Look at those little lovebirds. Ugh. Just as I thought. <laughs> I'll need to report this to the prince. Aha. Uh -huh. We didn't even get to do anything. What's the plan, boss? <laughs> Let's grab some drinks with Nidhogg. They didn't get paid, so it'll be on me. You two go ahead and let them know. Got it. What about... I'll pass. That's cold. It's been ages since we last hung out. 
Oh well, see you later. Huh, you guys used to hang out. Who knows? Having all these battles stolen out from under me is starting to make me lose my edge. Maybe fighting someone just like me will keep me sharp. What do you say? It can be as men or as knights. <laughs> sure. It's a date. <laughs> hmm, interesting. This is exactly like the relationship between the Orbal Network and Pleroma Grass in Crossbell. And now the same phenomenon is occurring here, but on a larger scale. There must be something more to the Divine Knights and his experiments. Then we're in agreement. The Duke may have avoided the death penalty, yes. However, knowing his crimes, it is safe to say he will be unable to resume his position. That is why we must welcome the next Duke. In order to ensure the survival of the nobility, we must work together as the four great houses once more. Ooh. What is it? You do understand that I am the only worthy successor, yes? Recent circumstances and the discovery that you used public funds for personal use cannot be overlooked. The leaders, lasting and acting, of the four great houses have made a decision. Marquis Ballard, you will be dismissed as a candidate to become the next Duke Cayenne. <clears throat> Please enter. Excuse me. Who is this child? I did hear General Le Guin was visiting the province. What is this? Where have I seen her? What? You're that girl! I am the niece of the reigning Duke Cayenne. My full name is Mildine Yuzalith de Cayenne. Have you missed me, great uncle? Uh, uh. She is Lord Alfred's daughter. 
The current Duke Cayenne's older brother. May he rest in peace after his loss at sea. You're making a mockery of this council! I will not accept this! If I may, everyone please cast your vote. Does anyone here object to nominating young Lady Mildine as the next Duchess Cayenne? I am in favor. No objections. To begin with, I would like to add two new topics of discussion to this council. The pressure we're facing from the government, as well as their plans for after the Summer Festival. We must determine how to counter their plan to invade Calvert and put a stop to the National Mobilization Act. It was a short visit, but a beneficial one all the same. But now I'm afraid I must take my leave. I trust you're ready to head back on your own. We ended up staying a day longer than we intended, but we should still make it back in time. I need to head back myself. I need to begin my analysis as soon as possible. Make sure you've got those samples sorted out before we get there, Fourth Disciple. Right! All right, General. I wish you a safe journey. I'll see you again soon. Of course. We can exchange stories then. Farewell, everyone.
If I may change topics, let's talk about Ouroboros. I feel like they've reached the culmination of their experiments now. So do I, given what the Maiden said. And that silver machine we saw. Each experiment has borne fruit. The time is near. Shall we hearken to the will of the Abyss, or shall we embark on a new route entirely? We must reach a decision before much longer. It was the third one like that we've seen, after the ones belonging to the Jaeger King and the Masked Man. Experiments and a new route. There must be some deeper meaning there. Huh. It is pretty weird that all three of them have similar machines. I mean, aren't Ouroboros and the Black Workshop supposed to be on different sides? Regardless of their alliances, we'll need to be prepared for anything. It may be time for us to act upon the promise Class 7 made. It feels like it's been forever since we made that promise, but I think the time is finally right for Class 7 to have a reunion. Yeah! Especially since we've got Gaius here with us! And thank the winds for that. Just name the date, and your favorite teacher will be there. You can count us in! I'll bring George along too. Yeah, I'd come even if I weren't invited. We'll be happy to have all of you. Man, they are something else, aren't they? You've got to be a bit jealous seeing all that, yeah? Honestly, yeah. But we made a promise like that ourselves. The original Class 7, together again. Hey, is it just me, or did things get really intense this time around? They took on the Maiden herself. We can't even compare to that power. What are you saying? You guys are Class 7 too, aren't you? There's no way we could have gotten through all of this without your help. That's right. I look forward to working alongside you all once more. As a fellow member of Class 7. It's truly an honor. Uh, <laughs> uh, this is all kind of overwhelming. <laughs> Don't usually hear such nice words from the head of one of the four great houses. <laughs> I'm always happy to be of service. Tilly, let's fight together again! It's gonna be awesome! I'll think about it. <laughs> Surrounded by dear friends, loving students... <laughs> you truly are blessed, Reen. Okay, I'm heading out. Sorry we never get to talk much, Reen. Good seeing you, though. Likewise. See you again soon, I hope. You too, Agate. Thanks for everything. <laughs> Don't mention it. This kind of stuff is the whole reason I came to Erebonia. Oh yeah? Here I was thinking you came here to be your little princess's knight in shining armor. Uh, Instructor Randy? Say that again, Randolph? <laughs> Ooh la la. Uh, I could be her knight in shining armor if she'd only let me. Angie, I think you're taking this a little too seriously. Okay, that's enough. Time to go. Stop your yammering and get in here.
We've recovered the diagnostics equipment from the Sleipnir units. We'll repair and analyze them on the Glorious. Well done. Any word from the others? Yes. The Fool will return to headquarters for the time being. The Ogre is headed to Nortia, and the Almighty Conflagration is on standby. Interesting. Then we shall stand by as well. Blend into the public and wait for my signal. Uh. Yes, yes, my, my lord. lord. Something strange. Eight years. Eight years since she found me, and nothing like that's ever happened before. Those who would make light of you, child, and your lust for vengeance are beyond Adios's grace. I shall make it so you stand taller than those who would ridicule you. Despite all that, not even we knew about that machine. However, it matters not. Whatever happens, she is our lord. All we need to do is believe in her. Absolutely. You are the same as you ever were, Leanne. Has it already been 20 years? Time has treated you well. You're much cuter now, Rose. It is a result of having split my power among my kin. Though one is no longer with us. But I agree I make for quite a charmer in this tiny form. Indeed. You were a beauty before, but... I quite like this cuter version of you. Though I can't imagine what Dreykels would say if he could see you now. <laughs> it would certainly not be anything kind, knowing that blockhead. Most likely something obnoxious like, You're shrinking in your old age, Rose. <laughs> I can certainly picture him saying that.
but enough pleasantries. Just what are you doing with Vita? The gnome's twilight. Ouroboros's phantasmal blaze. Two completely different plans with completely different goals. What happens when they clash? You needn't worry about the Abyss. Her collaborators are truly adept individuals. And they will make formidable foes. And as for the Great Twilight and the Phantasmal Blaze plan... You'll find your answer 250 years ago, on that fateful day. Fool. I do not know if you are doing this out of a sense of duty to the man you fell for. However, you and Vita are the same. You have no idea how I... It seems I have no choice but to put my trust in Emma, Celine, and that ashen child. It's been a year. Man. Oh, if I'm wrong about this, I'm headed straight to Gehenna. of decay. It's not just a wax doll. And he isn't in suspended animation. It's an elaborate dummy, down to the bone structure and joints. So, you found out. Yeah. You were the one who arranged his funeral. When we handed the Azure Knight over to the military, you were there as an engineer. And you said after you visited all the workshops, you'd gone to Calvert to see Professor Hamilton at the Vern Company. But he had left the country by then, and there's no record of you ever having visited. Now that I think of it, your teacher was one of the higher-ups in Calvard's information agency. I was careless. I didn't think you'd personally go and check. What have you been doing these last three months, George? <sighs> you. Oh, so you've seen this face before. Hmm, I suppose we may have met once or twice long ago. She knows too much. Get rid of her, Georg. George. Your rank has increased. Here's your reward. I see more training is needed.
We are now over the western part of the Isengard mountain range. Estimated arrival in Heimdall is 1410. Maintain current course and speed. Once we reach Ulster, adjust course to run parallel to the railroad. Aye, aye, Captain. You have my thanks, Your Grace. Your assistance this past week has been invaluable. Think nothing of it. This is the Crimson Wing's job, after all. I've no doubt your first bout of field exercises in North Ambria saw you even busier than I. It is I who should be thanking you for your hard work. To be honest, I'm having a difficult time deciding how to proceed as a teacher. <laughs> Perhaps that is a sign of General Craig's influence. I would advise you to follow your own convictions for the time being. That way, you may... Ah, instructor. There you are. Cadet Arner. Greetings, my lord. Seeing it up close, the Courageous is truly amazing. And though it was barely used during the Civil War, its main cannon is certainly impressive as well. Perhaps we should consider deploying a number of cruisers to match our fleet of battleships. Cadet. It is true that during an emergency, such power may prove beneficial. Learning when to use one's power and when to refrain is an important lesson. If that is the lesson your field exercises have taught you, then I'd say it is safe to declare them a success. Yes, of course. My thanks, Captain Arsaid. I look forward to seeing you again. I wish you luck patrolling the Summer Festival alongside my older brother. Damn it! How many times have they slipped away like that now? There's no end to it! We need help from the Intelligence Division or the RMP. Man, it'd be nice if all we had to deal with are those half-wits. But we can't afford to let our guard down. Spread out and lay low until the appointed time. Be sure you've got your Ramdas ready to use. Roger. Recommencing mission. Red flowers? I don't think so. No end to them.
<laughs> the eyes which served as the vessel for the bringer of miracles. But when the flame consumed the mirage, the fairy tale became that of the Empire. So as a professional, how do you intend to intervene? Ho oh, ho! Was I that obvious? To be perfectly honest, I'm having a bit of trouble finding a lead. I was hoping we could work together as friends and colleagues and have ourselves a little information exchange. I could even help you bury the hatchet with the elder of your clan, perhaps? <laughs> That's right. You have an agreement with her, don't you? Well, I'll consider your offer. However, I ask that you play nice from now on. Mr. Former History Instructor. Or should I say, Second Dominion, Thomas Lysander the Partitioner. I would not have expected that Oliver would be missing the party like this. It is unfortunate, yet understandable, given the current situation. With the Crimson Wings safeguarding Heimdall's skies, I'm sure the citizens will feel at ease. Yes, but I can't help but feel bad for him. I wonder if he's been upset over Cedric's actions of late. Hmm. <laughs> Oliver isn't the type to let that get to him. You should know this as well as I. <laughs> no, you're right. He was only a young boy when he lost his mother and was adopted into the royal family. I would have understood if he hadn't accepted me, given his early life. But he gladly welcomed me as his stepmother and was truly happy when Alfin and Cedric were born. <laughs> yes, that is the virtue he possesses. It's easy to believe he has friends not simply across Erebonia, but the entire continent. Yes. However, recently, even though Cedric once looked up to his older brother, he... Pardon me, Your Highness. Chancellor Osborne would like an audience. Very well. Send him in. My apologies for interrupting, my liege. You as well, Lady Priscilla. No. <laughs> it's quite all right. I shall excuse myself now. She seems to have some worries about the prince. It is to be expected, so long as she sees things differently from you. Understood.
in any event. It seems things are beginning to line up with what was written in the records. Yes, though we set the timing for the Civil War ourselves. By this point, however, the ending is all but decided. But are you certain this is all right? Leaving everything in my hands? As I told you 14 years ago, if there truly is no other way to avoid this end, then I shall leave it all to you. It may place a great burden on my sons, but could not the same be said of you? Yes, my liege. Question. Was that person you and the other instructors fought the real Saint Leanne?
Without a doubt, she was tremendously strong, and that aura of hers certainly seemed real. But it's possible one of Ouroboros' members is just posing as her. Let's put that aside for now, though. Hmm. Interesting. Stingy. 